my country wood artists. Welcome back to another art lesson with Ms. Whitney. I can't even believe it, but this is country wood art lesson number 10. A whole two hands worth of lessons. I am so impressed with your creativity so far this school year. You make me more and more proud to be your art teacher with every photo that gets submitted. Do you know what it's time for? That's right, it's time for Ms. Whitney's Mask of the Week. This is my Mask of the Week. What do you think I painted on my mask? If you said a flower, you are correct. This kind of flower is called a poppy. And the famous painting that I painted this mask to look like was created by one of the most famous artists ever. We've learned so much about men artists, but this painting actually was painted by a woman. The name of the famous artist is Georgia O'Keeffe. I say, you say, Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe. Great. Georgia O'Keeffe was born on November 15th, 1887. That means if she were alive today, her 133rd birthday would be this Sunday. She was born in Wisconsin, which is a state right here in the United States of America. We're the United States of America. We're 50 strong and proud. Wisconsin is the cheese and Madison's really nice. She had six brothers and sisters and her parents were both dairy farmers. At the age of 10, Georgia O'Keeffe knew that she wanted to be an artist and she took art lessons with a watercolor painter. When she was 18, she went to go study at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago. She stopped painting for a while until her future husband, Alfred Stieglitz, a modern art promoter, saw her artwork and encouraged her to continue painting. She started to gain respect for her artwork and was becoming one of America's most important artists. She lived a few places in her life besides Wisconsin. She lived in New York City, Texas, and then finally moved to a state called New Mexico. She was inspired by New Mexico's beautiful scenery. She was presented with the Presidential Medal of Freedom by the President of the United States. This is the highest honor from a president that you can receive. She continued creating artwork up until she died at the age of 98. She was known to have said, the men like to put me down as the best woman painter. I think I'm one of the best painters. She thought the men were saying that she was a good painter for a girl, but she knew she was better than that. She was one of the best painters ever. She paved the way for women artists to be taken seriously. Let's take a look at Georgia O'Keeffe's amazing artwork. What do you see in this painting? This is a landscape. I say, you say, landscape. The name of this painting is Black Mesa Landscape, New Mexico. Mesa means tableland in Spanish and Portuguese. It is an area of land raised high above sea level that has a flat top with steep cliffs, kind of like a mountain with no point. Georgia made New Mexico her home for the later part of her life and fell in love with the beauty of the state. This is another painting inspired by a place that she lived. What do you see in this painting? Have you ever seen a building that looks like this? Where? This painting is the most famous of a series of landscapes of New York 
that Georgia painted between the years 1925 and 1930. It's a painting of the American Radiator Building in Midtown Manhattan. It shows the skyscraper at night with the lights on. And this is red poppies that she painted in 1928. She chose to paint the flowers up close so that there really wasn't much of a background to distract you from seeing the beauty of the flowers. And that's what I painted my mask of the week to look like. Georgia O'Keeffe's Red Poppies. Which was your favorite painting? Let's sing our welcome song, then make artwork like the great artist Georgia O'Keeffe. Hello, hello to all my friends. Here we are in art again. It's great to see you, everyone. Countrywood artists, Miss Whitney. We're going to make some art and have some fun. Round of applause. Okay, friends, we saw beautiful paintings by Georgia O'Keeffe. Now, let's make artwork inspired by the great artist. We are going to create artwork that looks like Georgia O'Keeffe's painting, Ladder to the Moon, created in 1958. The painting shows a handmade wooden ladder in a turquoise sky. In the background are mountains and a white half moon. Let's create our own version of Ladder to the Moon. First, we are going to create a background. You can either start with blue or turquoise paper as the sky, or you can create your own sky with paint, crayons, markers, or whatever you have at home. If you're using paint and crayons, you can draw stars using crayons first on the white paper. And then when you paint over your crayons using watercolor paint, the crayon stars will magically show through. Next, let's add a ladder to the moon. You can draw or paint a ladder, or you can create it using paper or popsicle sticks. Next, if you'd like to add more stars, you can by either drawing or painting them or adding star stickers if you have them. If you don't want to add more stars, don't worry about it. You are the artist. You can create your sky how you'd like. If you'd like to add a personal touch, you can add yourself to the ladder reaching for the moon. Just have an adult take a picture of you in front of a blank background reaching up. You can print out yourself and cut yourself out. Glue yourself down like you were climbing the ladder and reaching up towards a moon. If you don't add yourself, don't worry. Remember, Georgia O'Keeffe didn't have herself on the ladder either. Lastly, let's add a moon above the ladder. You can add any phase of the moon that you'd like. Georgia O'Keeffe made a white half moon, but you can add any type of moon that you'd like. I'm going to add a yellow crescent moon to this example. You can either cut out a moon template and add color and sparkles if you have it, or you can make it out of white or yellow paper, however you'd like your moon to look. And that's it. That's how you can create your very own ladder to the moon, inspired by the great artist, Georgia O'Keeffe. Don't forget to submit your photo on Google Classroom so I can add your masterpiece to the virtual gallery on my website. I can't wait to see all of your own versions of Ladder to the Moon. Have a great week, Countrywood artists. I'll see you next week for a new lesson. Bye, friends.